Hello, so we're going to be talking about how to read from text files. So I think this is kind of cool because it's one of those things, again, that opens some doors for your code. So what I've done so far is I've made this text file called Tuner, and I've just put something stupid in there. And then I've saved this Python file in the same directory as this text file, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. So what I've done so far is I've made a string variable called my file and it's just equal to the name the name of my text file and notice that I included .txt in this, that's important. And then I've made this empty list called lines and I want that to be filled with this being the first line, this being the second, and this being the third. So that's my objective. So how do I do that? The first thing I have to do is I have to open tuna.txt. So before I can read the text out of the file, I have to open the file. So the way you say that in Python is with open, and then you give it the name of the file you want to open, which the name is stored in my variable, my file. So then you want to open that as F. So that is saying, I want F to serve as the object of the file. So then what I can do from that is say, that my my list my lines are equal to f dot read lines. So this dot read lines function is built into this object. So what it does for us, I'll just show you. So I will just print lines, and you can see that everything printed out. But you'll notice that. We have these backslash ends, we have these line breaks that are showing up, and that's because in this text file, uh, Notepad has to know when to jump to the next line, so it puts those backslash ends in the file, but it's invisible to us. So we're gonna use a list comprehension to solve this, and we're not gonna cover this, we're not gonna cover list comprehensions in this tutorial series, so for right now, just save this in a project file and reference it when you need it. Just to give you an idea of what's going on, we're saying that our lines are equal to uh, this comprehension. And it says, basically, for every line in lines, we want to strip that line. And stripping to several things, one of which is removing that backslash in. So if we run this, we can see everything prints out exactly how we want it to. So I just want to pop back for a second because I know some of you might be having a problem actually like opening this file so one of the things you can add to this is dot slash so what this says is look in my current directory for a file called tuna.txt um, if this doesn't make sense to you don't worry about it especially if this was already working for you i just know that um, some of you guys on linux might have to include this um, alternatively we can also open text files that are in different folders or in different directories so first, let's get the the path to the, the file we want. So I'll just go to where my text file is, and I'll copy the path. And I will paste it here. And then I'll say uh, slash uh, salmon.txt. So now, here, if I run this, I'll show you what happens. We get some weird error message. I don't know what that means. So if, if effectively what we have to do is just put an R here. So what that says is just look at the raw string. Um, it's a little involved to tell you why it does that. And that's something I don't want to cover in a beginner series. So for now, whenever you're putting a file path in a string, just stick this little R outside the first quote. And now we can run this and read the file all the same. So that's how you read from a text file. I hope you learned something. I hope you can do some cool stuff with this. So thanks for watching, guys.